O-M-G. Oh my gnome. I just got a bunch of Christmas napkins from ninnysnapkins.com. And in them were these 10, 11 gnome napkins. So if you love gnomes, you're going to want to watch this video as I'm going to talk about some of the possibilities that are in these napkins and ways that I plan on using them. I love when napkins are in black and white. Now, both of these napkins, these, this is the same one, both of these are called Gnome for the Holidays. So let's talk about this one first. This one, again, called Gnome for the Holidays. You get two of the Peace on Earth on the one five by five napkin and two of the Merry and Bright. And I love them just the way they are. And I would be tempted to just pop them into a the inside of a wooden cradle pattern and you would have a nice set. Paint them red or green for the holidays or whatever color goes with your decor. Now the other advantage with the black and white images is that you can colorize them. You can paint them with a wash of your acrylic paints or you can paint them with ink tents blocks and you can match it to whatever is in your background. Likewise, you can cut out the image. You can save the saying for something else. I love that font. And you can put them onto an art journal page or panels of different kinds. I think this would look really cute. One gnome here, one gnome here, and you know, put the saying, OMG, oh my gnome. And these ones, as with this one, they are not specific to Christmas. So you don't have to use them for Christmas. So nab them up because these are um, some of my gnome favorites. This napkin is called Tomte with Gift. And I'm not really fond of the gray background, but don't worry. What you need to do when you're not fond of something is isolate the main focal image. So I just went and I cut out the focal images. And I also cut out the poinsettias that were there. So then I can play. So this is perfect for a four by four uh, canvas panel, whether you put a magnet, turn it into a fridge magnet and put Gnome for the Holidays on there. It's also perfect for a composition book. Now this is a composition book. I haven't painted it. You could cover that with a gel print and again, put that on. And what a nice stocking stuffer you have here. Now you can also take these and they'll be perfect. This is a five by seven card. And remember those poinsettias? We can just add those to the corner. The colors are perfect. Then you build up your background as you see fit. We've got some door hangers. And again, with or without the poinsettias, you're gonna make the background. You can even combine it with a stencil. This is a Christmas tree. You can have this Christmas tree there and have the gnome beside the Christmas tree. Kind of mix and match. But wait, you can even do more because you can layer them up. You can put multiple gnomes together. This is a seven by 10 art journal page. So you can have the three gnomes layered here. To do that, I would be taking off the excess plies and either water cutting it or gluing them onto 
copy paper and then cutting out the elements. Or you could have the two here and one there. I like this arrangement. This napkin is called, not surprisingly, Gnome for Christmas, and I absolutely love the colors. It says Joy on here. Now, right off the bat, I am thinking this would make beautiful coaster. And so I have my, you know, I'll be known. You can put the own words on there, or you can just cut it out and glue it down onto, you know, the wooden coaster or the four by four fridge magnet. So this one, another favorite, who am I kidding? There's lots of favorites here. You get four identical patterns on it. I love the colors. You could absolutely use this as is and pop it into the cradled wood panel. An easy peasy home decor item. This could be on you know, a plate easel, paint this red and coordinate. It would make a good four by four fridge magnet or coaster. You can have the word I'll be known, or you can just water cut around this part, glue that down and put your own sentiment if you want it one. But how cute are they? They'll also go quite nicely on the bottom of one of these door hangers. Or you can decoupage them onto some metal tins that we get at Dollar Tree or Dollarama. Oh, I like that idea. I think that's what's going into my kitchen. And as a go-together, one of the napkins that I got from Minnie's Napkins has this beautiful pattern. It's called Reindeer Stripe. The colors are beautifully coordinated. So you can just add the border, put that on a card in the middle and then have add the border, either top or bottom or both. This napkin is called Ho Ho Gnome and we have the red truck with the tree and the easel. Now, it looks dull to me, but remember, we don't have to do that. So again, I've cut it out, cut the element out, rough cut, the extra plies are still on. Then that will go in the corner of, this is a seven by 10. I can paint, I'll make a darker, brighter blue background add some snow on the bottom, maybe use some modeling paste to build that up and add gnome for the holidays or this napkin is called Ike and Axel. And I'm not sure they're gnomes or Santas, but they're in that trend. What I think I would do here is turn this into a five by seven card. Here's my five by seven template. And if I put that on, we just add more sky above, add a sentiment and away you go. Maybe a red border or green border. Just very, I love the colors of this one. This napkin is called Gnome Joy and it comes in two sizes, which is great because it gives you so many options. Now, I love this napkin as it is. And those sometimes are the napkins that are the most difficult because we think, what can we add to it? Now you can just take the five inch one, glue it on a six by six card or on a five by seven card like that, add a sentiment and be done with it, easy peasy. It can go into the cradled wood panel and you have a home decor item simply paint the frame whatever color you wish or you could use this on art journal pages now the six by six and a half by six and a half one will work best probably the scale with the nine by twelve 
or an eight by 10 size. You wouldn't want to go any smaller than that. Now, what I would do there is I would cut out, I'd water cut, take off the plies, and water cut all the way around the gnomes and get rid of the green and the wood panel. And then glue that down onto the page after you've created a holiday festive border. The five inch one would work on an eight by 10 or smaller cradled one. You can get five by seven canvas boards and, or a seven by 10 art journal page. Now, playing around with this idea, I thought I have this stencil from the Crafters Workshop. It's called Big Wreath. Now, it, you can get 12 by 12 panels that would fit perfectly and you could stencil in or use modeling paste and make the wreath and then I would again water cut the gnomes out and glue that down in the corner and maybe add some poinsettias or berries from either stenciling or from other napkins. I think that would look rather cute. But even on this nine by 12, which would end right about here, you can have like a partial wreath and that's hanging right there. I think I really like that idea. You're going to have to watch my channel in the upcoming two months before Christmas so to see how I actually end up using these napkins. This napkin is called Tomte in Bucket. Now we have the holly here so you could build up holly using this Esther napkin, this decoupage napkin, which is also from Ninny's Napkins, and build out more of that. But again, in order to free it from the napkin, I cut out, rough cut them, and then that allows me to play. So when I put one on a seven by 10, I can have lots of other stuff going on here that looks really cute. I, it will be perfect on, I think, a size 8 tag or these door hangers. It will work on a 5 by 7 card. So from one napkin, you can make four different cards. Now, th the middle part, I love this snowflake pattern. I'm not throwing that out. I'm going to use that on another project. This napkin is called Niels, and you are going to want to stockpile him. He's very simple on a white background. Going two different directions. So when you cut him out, you're going to see he works perfectly on four by fours, five by sevens, six by six, tags. He's skating. You can make a skating pond and have him on. This is a seven by 10. Or you can, because he goes two ways, combine and have him going across the page like that. So there are so, so, so many options with him. He is absolutely adorable. Go build your sash with him. This napkin is called Tom Tank. And while I love the red and the size of him, I'm really distracted by the green. I'm not a green fan per se. So cut it out rough cut the images. You'll note that we have one hand going to the right and one hand going to the left, which again, we love. So now we can play with it. We can put one on the corner and fill in the background, put in a Merry Christmas holiday season sentiment. This also will work on a five by seven card or six by six by six card 
panel, canvas, all of those are possible. You can even have one going down here, one up here. I've switched to the nine by 12 page. The other thing I have, you can mix and match it with other napkins. This napkin is called Esther. It's got this beautiful holly pattern. So I can cut out a panel of that in the middle and have him kind of hanging down below. We've got the greens and then we can make whatever kind of color background on here. He would also be perfect. Now he's too big for the mini composition books, but I just picked up these books from Dollar Tree the other day and they're five by seven. They would be, this would fit perfectly on there. Nice little stocking stuffer. This napkin is called Friendly Tomte Red and it comes in two sizes, the five inch and the six and a half. What you get though, when you open them up, is you get two of one image and two of another. So again, cut them out with scissors or water cut them, build them up, mix and match. I would take this one, this one, and maybe this one and put the three in a row on a seven by 10 page. This would also work well on a card. All you have to do is figure out the background. The stencil knitted stitch would look perfect on there. This little guy is called Little Niece and he's very tiny, but he would work well on a four by four coaster or magnet or on a mini composition book. This would also work really well to put onto you know, different tin cans, galvanized metal that you might have. This napkin is called Friendly Tomte Red, and it comes in two sizes, the five inch and the six and a half. What you get though, when you open them up, is you get two of one image and two of another. So again, cut them out with scissors or water cut them build them up, mix and match. I would take this one, this one, and maybe this one and put the three in a row on a seven by 10 page. This would also work well on a card. All you have to do is figure out the background. The stencil knitted stitch would look perfect on there.